This is Hardy Boy Lifestyle. Today we want to attempt to put the Velocer Big Mouth on my Sonata inline. They say we have to take off this whole front bumper to be able to put that piece on. Which will connect right here. So the air will flow through here, come up here, underneath the hood, through here, and then down into the air box. But this is all connected to this bumper. So there's no way of just taking this the top piece off and then installing it and then putting the top piece back down. We have to take this whole bumper off. So stay tuned. Okay, so what we're going to need is a ratchet set with extensions sockets with an 8 millimeter 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter some pliers and a flathead screwdriver and then some kind of big blanket towel cardboard to lay your bumper on some of these are just pop-ups so if you got a panel popper or a flathead screwdriver there should be to get these off so we want to remove these but first we have to get the car in the air because to get to these poppers in here it's gonna be hard to get to with with the tires if it's close so you got to be able to turn the tire which you know is gonna be hard to do on the ground so either you gotta take the wheel off or get the car get the car in the air where you could physically turn the tires out of the way to get to those poppers so that's what we're about to try to do now. Now, let's see if we can make this fast. Okay, so now we have it in the air. So now we have to go ahead and take the lower panels off. The, uh, I guess you want to say like the uh, oil pan cover. We need to take that off, disconnect it from the bumper. Then we can go ahead and start unbolting, taking this all apart, and disassembling. Now all these have been removed. Got to do the other side, and then do the bottom. Okay, so underneath we got these panel poppers. Take the ones off by the fenders. It's a little groove. You can stick the screwdriver in. Like I said, if you don't have a panel popper, you can stick the screwdriver in there and just loosen it up and it should pop. You have to really work at them to get them down some of these seem hard hard to come down I don't I don't know why
Okay, so now we gotta take off the uh, hoppers up top. is removing the daytime running lights, also known as the DRLs. So, these are going to be a 10 millimeter for the bolts that are right here. We got one here, we have one here that we're going to have to take off. And it should also be a 10 millimeter to take off the daytime running lights. There's a bolt right up here. Right there is a bolt, and that's a 10 millimeter. So I take this one out on each side. Then once we pull that up, we can go ahead and uh, just pull the DRL straight up. And don't tug too hard because the plastic clip underneath can break very okay. easily. Yeah. Same thing on the other side. So now the DRLs are all loose. All we should have to do is pull from here. Just be careful. We pull away. And work your way underneath the lights. Do the other side. A sensor underneath here that we have to unplug first. Or it's a more, yeah. This is the sensor right here. So you fold that clip back because you already see fold it and then pull it straight out and then that go ahead and disconnects it. And now 
that we had the front bumper off. So here's the back of the place where we had to mount the Velocer Big Mouth at. As you see, there's a hole there. There's a hole here that we had to measure. And then it's going to be mounted just like that. We screw the two holes in and then mount it and then we're done. <clears throat> That's going to provide the air straight through up and into the air box through the factory ram air. Now the drill bit that I'm using is 11 16. They say use a quarter. This is a quarter. This is too big. It's 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 no way that's gonna work. That's almost bigger than a screw head. So I'm gonna use 11 16 on the sizes that I have. You know, just metric and all that. So depending on which ones you have, I'm gonna drill the two holes straight in. I'm gonna drill in from the back. Some people do from the top. There's multiple ways you could do it. I'm gonna do mine from the back. To me, it seems a little easier as far as measuring wise. I used another drill bit to make my holes, make the markings for where I'm going to drill at. Okay, so I did have to make the hole to a, I had to use a 1364 bit only because this was a little, tiny bit too small.
and so so now I'm just buttoning up and putting everything back together now I put painters tape on just to cover both sides because it's tricky putting this back on and you don't know if this is going to rise up and start hitting your, your, your fenders you know scratching your paint so I would advise to put painters tape on there just to protect your paint while you're putting this back on that you're not scratching your fenders We'll make sure you snap all it's like a rubber piece here you will make sure you put this back in the corner and you should hear you should hear the snaps if you want to hear the snaps then the either it's in the wrong place or the clips came out clips came out then I'm gonna have to take all the clips they came out this is the tricky part to try to get them get them out without without breaking them these right here if these stay in it don't come out with the with the DRL, it's gonna be a pain because you gotta get these, and then let me show you. You gotta get these, and then slide them back in this groove right here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a groove, and you gotta slide it. slide them back in that groove and then when you push down into the white pieces that's what holds holds it down so it's a little tricky so after you get the DRLs in and down we gotta make sure we put the 10 millimeter bolts back in that all down then we have the two right here we have to put back in After that, we have to put in the poppers that goes back in. After we put those in, then we'll do go back to the bottom and attach the rear the bottom shell that covers the oil oil pan and everything, and then uh, basically done. She's back on the ground. So what we're doing now is just mounting the ram air function back and it's all done. 
So we're all finished now. So that's it. It wasn't that hard, it wasn't that bad. You just gotta be very careful with the DRL lights because of the clips. When you pop them things up, they're easy to break. And you might have to go to a dealership like me and get some more to replace. Just for my passenger side, my driver's side went in fine. But the passenger side ones, when I pulled them up, they must have snapped and broke. So I have to replace those. So again, it's the Velocir Big Mouth that we added today. Again, it, the air flows right through here, through the mouth. It comes up here and goes through this channel in the hood. It forces the air in right through here, down into the air filter. It'll give you some more cooler airs, cooler air. So, thanks for uh, watching today. Hopefully you liked it, find it helpful. Hit the like button if you can, subscribe, share. I appreciate everybody's support. Until the next mod, peace out.